Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our boost control in our AEM Pro software. So when we want to control a boost solenoid to turn up the boost on our turbo engine, we're going to need to jump into our boost control to turn up the duty cycle on the solenoid to increase the boost. And we have two different options for programming our boost control. We have an open loop method and then we have a closed loop method. Now we have several choices in our closed loop method. We have a speed based boost or a low high boost switch that we can have some other programming options. I'm going to be walking you through all the details of the boost control in this video. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check all this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our boost control in our AEM Pro software. So the very first thing we're going to be doing is jumping into our icon list here at the top and selecting our basic form of boost control we're going to have to work with here. We can find our first table here. Boost control is what we're going to click on. Now that we're open up this window, we can see we have our base wastegate duty cycle table. We find some programming options here for our boost control and then some parameters here on the side that are going to be relating to our boost control to give us the status of what's going on with the output as we're controlling the solenoid. Now moving into the table here, we can find that this is going to be based on load versus engine RPM. And in fact, the breakpoints that we find in the table here for load and RPM are going to be matching whatever is coming from our main fuel and spark timing tables. So if we change the breakpoint scaling on these tables here, it also will affect our base duty cycle table. So the values of the table here are going to be expressed from 0 to 100%. So 0 is going to be running the lowest duty cycle to the boost solenoid, which is going to allow us to run off the wastegate spring. So if we put an 8 pound wastegate spring in, we should see approximately 8 pounds of boost, and then we'll have our values here of 0. Now as we start to turn these values up from 0 to 50 to 80, all the way up to 100, we will find that it will start to increase our boost more and more. Now we don't know exactly how much duty cycle is going to be equaling how much boost. That's going to be part of what we're going to be doing in our tuning process. What I can tell you is when you start off your tuning, you always want to go and have your values in the table here be at zero in order to figure out what the wastegate spring is going to be at. It's going to be that baseline and then we're going to turn it up from that point. So going from zero, we might start off our values at 10, then 20, then 30, then 40 and then we'll eventually find whatever is going to get us to that target boost that we want uh, to be at. So if we put an 8 pound spring, we want to be at 15 pounds of boost, we may end up with values here of 35% duty cycle or 65% duty cycle. It's going to be different for every kind of setup. So the values in here are pretty straightforward how we're going to work with them. Um, normally when I'm doing my programming, I'm only going to be focusing here on 0 PSI and higher. I don't program my values for my boost solenoid to run here in vacuum. That's going to simply wear out the solenoid over time. It's going to cause more stress on the solenoid and we want to avoid that. So uh, program in here from 0 PSI and higher.